hello and welcome so today what we'll be doing is uh, we will log into the sap business technology platform and uh, then we will configure and set up the business application studio and uh, we will create one simple sap ui5 application and uh, we will run it so first let us visit this link uh, for sap business technology platform uh, from here i click on sign in as i already have an account if you don't have an account uh, you can create a new account and then you can sign in from here i click on trial home so now it is loading uh, sap btp cockpit so once i enter here um, i can launch the sap uh, business application studio from here or i can enter into my trial account so once i reach here i need to click on trial which is my sub account from here on the left side i go to services instances and subscriptions so here we can see that uh, the subscription for sap business application studio is already provided by default if you don't have it you can create the subscription from here here i click on these three dots and go to application so this is another way to launch your business application studio before going into the business application studio what i would like to tell that uh, we'll have to create a destination from connectivity destinations so because we'll be creating sap ui5 application which will use um, o data service so we click here destination and you can see that two destinations uh, i have already configured so the first one is the northwind uh, destination which points to the northwind o data service so you have to maintain all these values here and uh, you have to add new properties and you have to add these two new properties html5 dot dynamic and uh, web id enabled and set them to true you have to check this checkbox and uh, you need to click on check connection so you'll see that the response is 200 okay which is fine uh, then we have another destination called UI5. Uh, this is to load the standard SAP UI5 libraries and uh, this is the URL for that. Uh, again, after maintaining these values, you need to add these two new properties here and uh, select this checkbox. After clicking save, you can uh, check your connection and it should return a success response. So now uh, what we have done is we have launched uh, the uh, dev space manager for our uh, business application studio and uh, we have uh, configured the destinations as well. So now uh, to run any application or to launch your uh, business application studio, you need to have dev space. I already have one which is in running status. If you don't have, you need to click on create dev space, uh, give some name here. And uh, you need to select that what kind of application you will be creating uh, in your business application studio. So either it can be SAP Fiori or full stack cloud application. Uh, based on the type of application you select here, uh, it will enable you the required extensions uh, in your dev space. So you can select and you can create. For now, I will not create because I already have one. So my dev space is already running. If your dev space is not running, uh, you need to click on this button to make it running. Now I click on my dev space name and this will launch the business application studio for me. So once the uh, business application studio has been uh, launched, uh, you will see this home page uh, where you can create new application from template, clone from Git, import, or you can open your files and folders. So we'll create uh, a new application from template. So here uh, we have to select a template. We will start with SAP Fiori application and click on start. 
application type uh, we will select sap ui5 freestyle and we will select sap ui5 application and click on next in the data sources uh, we will connect the application to uh, an o data service for the o data service url i'll provide the uh, northwind o data service url uh, here now click on next for view name uh, we will just say app click on next for module name uh, we will say tutorial setup 1 will give uh, an application title we'll give uh, application namespace which is the identifier for our uh, application and we can traverse through the application uh, project folders uh, by using the namespace um, and this is the default uh, path for your projects home user projects you can select it by clicking on this button yes we will add deployment configuration and uh, uh, we'll click on next here we need to choose the target uh, deployment target will be cloud foundry destination name is the northwind service which we already have created in uh, our BTP cockpit and uh, we'll click on finish so you can see on the left side of the screen that tutorial setup one the application name is available and it is initializing the dependencies and setting up the project for you For now, you can ignore these errors. Uh, these errors belong to some other applications which uh, I already had. So you can see the message that the project has been generated and will be saved for future use. So this is the project. Now it only has one simple view, which is a blank view and nothing much is in there. So we'll just run this application to run it. We need to click on this run configurations and uh, we will find our project name here, tutorial setup one, and we click on this green button. So you can see that the server has started. And it has launched the uh, SAP UI5 application. It is just a blank view. Nothing much is in there. But what we have learned is uh, uh, how to set up the business application studio, create a dev space, um, select the application type uh, which you want to create in your dev space and uh, launch the business application studio and create a simple uh, freestyle SAP UI5 application, uh, how to connect it to a backend OData service and uh, how to run the SAP UI5 application. So this is what I wanted to cover in this uh, session. Uh, after this, uh, in the further sessions, uh, we will learn even more about uh, SAP UI5 applications, uh, more concepts, and uh, we will have more videos to learn from. Thank you.